In this iMachining tutorial series video 3, we will discuss using iRest and iFinish. When using iMachining, it is possible to perform an iFinish operation directly after the iRough. The previous videos used a part where this could be done. In this case, we will use a part that has areas where the roughing tool will not physically fit. As a result, we will use iRest to clear out the remaining material before using iFinish. The downloaded part called SC Electrical Housing Part 1.prz can be opened from the training folder that we've created on our C drive. Note that a new CAM part has already been created for this, where we have defined the coordinate system, stock, and target. I have already defined the tools that we'll be using in this exercise as well. First, we will create a new iMachining operation. This will be our roughing operation. Let's define our geometry. Here, we have a closed pocket with three islands. We cannot use auto constant Z to close the geometry of our pocket because of this smaller pocket inside of it. Instead, let's use the auto to function and then close the chain by picking point to point as shown here. Finally, we will define the geometry for the islands and then click Finish to accept. Moving down the tree, let's select the already created 8mm end mill from the tool table. Then, we will pick the pocket depth. Now, let's save and calculate the operation and take a look at the toolpath in HostCAD. The pocket is split into two areas both containing a helical entry due to the tool size and its inability to fit through these small spaces. Let's now perform a rest material operation using iRest. First, we will exit the simulation and then simply save and copy the current operation. After the dialog automatically opens, we will change the operation type to iRest in the pull-down at the top left corner. We will want to select the smaller 6mm end mill from the tool table to do our rest machining. In the technology branch, there is a tab called iRest Data. There are three important values for calculating rest material. They are previous tool diameter, previous wall offset, and previous fillet radius. By default, the parent operation is chosen and the fields are filled with those values. These values may also be entered manually by selecting User Defined from the pull-down menu. Let's leave the default. We can save and calculate and then take a look at the iRest toolpath in HostCAD. Now, let's use Solid Verify to view the tool cleaning up the rest material. It is important to know that the wall offset for rest material needs to be greater than zero but less than the previous wall offset. We can check those values under the Technology and IRS data tabs in the Technology branch. Let's now use iFinish to perform a final finish pass on the walls of this pocket. Simply save and copy the current iRest operation. Again, we will change the operation type. Let's choose iFinish from the pull down this time. We will use the same 6mm end mill to finish the walls that we used in our previous iRest operation. When we go to the technology branch, the option to finish is now available under the technology tab. We will only need to finish the walls in this operation and not the floor. In this example, we can select either total depth 
or each step down, since the total depth and step down value is the same. Under the iRest Data tab, we can see that the previous iRest operation is selected by default and the fields are automatically filled with the three important values needed for calculating rest material. We can save and calculate and then take a look at the iFinish toolpath in HostCAD. Now let's view the tool taking one final pass on the walls to finish them up using Solid Verify. Let's exit the simulation. It is important to know that REST machining pulls data from a previous or parent operation. If one of the three important values changes, the data will update, but the operation will need to be recalculated. For example, let's edit our iRough operation and change the wall offset. After clicking Save and Calculate, we can see that our iRest operation is no longer synchronized, as shown by the asterisk in the Inventor Cam Manager. Now, we can simply right-click on the operation and select Calculate to sync it. And this concludes Video 3 of the iMachining Tutorial Series, where we discussed using iRest and iFinish. Thanks for watching. Please join us for Part 1 of Video 4 of the series, where we will define more examples of closed pocket geometries.